Hello, I'm Vita Callisto, and you're watching Mike with the Phantom Movie Lab on Tip Hill. Enjoy! Welcome to another video here on Phantom of Haunted Hill. <laughs> well, come on in, kitties. Welcome to another video here on Phantom of Haunted Hill. I'm Mike, your phantom. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Today's a very special video. We're talking about a favorite horror movie host. You may know him. Commander USA and his groovy movies. That's right. Luckily... At Cinema Wasteland Horror Convention a while back, somebody was selling DVDs of, and look what it is. Can, can you see it? Full broadcast, all commercials included. And so the ones I got are Captain Kronos, uh, Final Terror, The Abominable Snowman. Tales that witness madness and the kingdom of the spiders. <laughs> yes, indeed. Of course, these are just burned, but uh, the Phantom doesn't care. <laughs> you know how much stuff I used to have on VHS tapes from so many, from Big Chuck and Little John and Frank and Drac and all kinds of great stuff. So, hey, <clears throat> before we talk about the great Commander USA, let's uh let's check him out for a minute here. Yeah, let's do that, shall we? There is a wrong to be righted. He is there. Wherever a lone child searches for a friend, he is there. And wherever humanity gropes for that universal meaning of life, he is there. He is everywhere, for he is Commander USA. From the depths of suburbia, far below a teeny shopping mall, just inches away from mankind, Commander USA enters his video vault to bring you action, adventure, and zany non-stop thrills. Join us now as we proudly present Commander USA's Groovy Movies. Today's groovy movies, Savage Sisters, and Women in Chains. And now, Commander USA! Boy, there you are. Commander USA here, soaring superhero. Legion of decency. <laughs> well, I'm glad you showed up today. Oh, yeah, man, this is going to be a whole lot of fun. Yeah, it's a special kind of day, see? Up in the mall, they're having a whole kind of cheese festival. So I figured, what the heck, boy? We'd have our own salute to cheese right down here in the video bowl. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a whole lot of fun. Let me show you what I got over here, boy. Yeah, yeah. Now, see if you can tell who I am. Ah, oh, how about it? Oh, I'm the cheese wizard. Oh, yeah, well, you know. Cheese, right down through the centuries, has always been known as kind of a, kind of a mysterious, mystical kind of food, you know? Well, it's been used in everything from aphrodisiacs to the mortar of our great cathedrals. Oh, yeah, it's a whole lot of fun, too, so as a special treat, I decided that today we'd look into the mystic cheese ball. Oh, yeah, boy, see? Picked up this cheese ball from my friend Wanda. Oh, yeah, she's kind of into occult foods, you know what I mean? Yeah, I call her magic one. <laughs> hey, you want to take a look? Yeah, we'll see what's in your future here. Whoa. Well, now be careful. You never know what's going to happen with mystical cheese. Let's see. Hey, I see. I see something. Holy cats, it's you. Yeah, there you are. You're in the candy section of Stuckey's. Yeah, you're out in the middle of Ohio. Holy cats. Oh, you're buying a pecan log. Holy... Oh, now you're 
outside. You're getting onto a bus. Well, it's a big bus. It's heading west on I-70. You're headed for Wisconsin. Holy cats, you're going to the Cheddar Cheese Festival. Oh, man, this is great. Wow, look. Commander USA here, going to the zoo. You want to come? The Terry Lou Zoo right here in Scotch Plains, New Jersey. Oh, yeah, it's going to be fun. Ready, guys? Ready, my roll? Hey, let's go. Wherever there is a wrong to be righted, he is there. Wherever a lone child searches for a friend, he is there. Present Commander USA's Groovy Movies. Today's Groovy Movies, Vampire Men of the Lost Planet and Spirit of Bruce Lee. And now, Commander USA. And we'll ask what's new, gnu, gnu. Well, hey, there you are. Commander USA here, flying friend of the firmament. Legion of decency, retired. <laughs> Boy, I'm glad you showed up today. Oh, yeah, it's going to be fun. See, because we're going to... Well, go oh, well, heck, it's a little field trip I decided to go on, you know? Well, heck, you got to do it once in a while. Just kind of get out there and, I don't know, renew. You know, kind of reaffirm your own oneness with the basic molecular commonality of the universe that binds us with everything in nature. Besides, the mall was really crowded, you know? Oh, yeah, it was nice to get out of there. Oh, the place was packed, man. They were having some big kind of sale, you know? I think it was lingerie, half off. <laughs> no, that's just a joke, sure. Now, nah, it's good to get out in the country, isn't it? Sure, just take a whiff of that air. <sighs> Whoa. Yeah, I think Mr. Rhinoceros might be having a little gastrointestinal problem or something. Have a weird... <laughs> what the mail's here? Whoa! Maybe I should read one of these, eh? Yeah, let's see. Where's this? Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Hey, one of my favorite places, boy. From Peabody and the Wench? Oh, hey, this sounds interesting already, doesn't it? Yeah, Peabody and the Wench. Let's see. Dear Commander. Listen, we watch your show all the time. We really like it. We've seen you make those gourmet meals with your microwave vision. Oh, yeah. Since you have microwave vision... Does that mean you also have laser lips? Laser lips? Whoa, yeah, talk about burning kisses, eh? Well, actually, Peabody and the Wench, you know, my whole bilabellularity is pretty much run at a million. Although I do have a filling in one of my back molars that picks up radio signals every once in a while. Yeah, mostly country western. Eh? Hey, but thanks a lot for writing. Yeah, hey, do you want to write to the commander? Not sure it's a snap, what? Suspiciously suspicious to me, pal. You know what? Whoa, hey, hey, there you are, boy. Now, nah, it's just telling lefty. Excuse me, I mean Mr. Watson here. Yeah, that we're getting close to the trail, boy. Yeah, we're picking up some clues. Nah, it's over at Rose, Rosewoods, Rose Covered Cottage, boy. Just kind of, you know, looking around and look what I found. It's right. A group of overripe bananas found right by the right front tire of Rose Rosewood Stutz Bearcat motor car. Then, a little more discovery turned up this rather old container of homogenized milk found below the gazebo of the herb garden. Whoa. Finally, oh, the leftover remnants of a jar of gooseberry blossom honey. Something's gonna turn up here. So know what we're gonna do? That's right. It's time to sift the evidence. Whoa, okay, pal, let's see if we find a clue here. Ah, whoa, let's wait that around there. Ah, I think something's coming through. Got it left? Yeah, good. Oh, nice. nice. Oh, hey, something's happening down there, pal. I can see. Whoa. Hey, lefty boy, reach in there, will you? No, right in the corner. That's it. That's it. We're getting close now, boy. You see that? That's a very special sugar crystal. I think the problem is solved. Rose Rosewood. Our name is Matchstick. <laughs> Things are really starting to heat up now, boy. That is... Whoa! Holy cats! Whoa. Well, how do you do, guys? <laughs> hey, 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 hey! 
Hey, look who showed up. One ass, Sam Spado. Owner and proprietor of Sam Spado's Tex-Mex Boot Shop Beauty Salon Detective Agency in Delicatessen. Hey, how you doing, pal? Fine, I'm just fine, Commander. I just dropped on by to invite you and all your friends to come on down to the mall and visit us at Sam Spado's Tex-Mex Boot Shop Beauty Parlor Detective Agency and Delicatessen. Whoa. We got tacos, we got facials, we got real live reptiles. And if that ain't enough to make your jaw gape open and catch a few stray flies, you come on down and see your Tex-Mex spies. We're detective of sorts, but we're cowboys too. So come on down and eat a taco or two. And if you don't want to eat, I mean just in case, relax, enjoy the put a taco on your face. So come on down and say how to do, because at Sam Spados, we got everything for you. <laughs> taco facial, huh? Sounds real appetizing. Hey, listen, we'll get back to Swamp of the Lost Monster right after this. Sure. Okay. Yes, indeed, he was a delight. If you had cable back in the 80s, it was just phenomenal. I saw so many great movies on Commander USA. The Children... And I could swear I saw Just Before Dawn on there, but I was looking at the list of movies he showed, and Just Before Dawn wasn't there, but I'm pretty positive he showed it. But anyway, let's talk about Commander USA. His real name is Jim Hendrix. Hey, purple hands all in my brain. That's what happened to him. Jimmy Hendrix didn't die. He became Commander USA. No, <laughs> that's spelled different. So Commander Jim Hendricks was born October 2nd, 1949, and he passed away March 17th, 2018. Today is March 29th. I'm making this video. He was 68 years old. He started out as a radio DJ, something that I, <laughs> I am. And, uh, he did a character called uh, Uncle Willie, and he was on there a while, and then the radio station changed, and uh, so uh, he no longer had the show, <laughs> and uh, he became a cab driver, and he, he was still auditioning for parts, you know, because he wanted to be in, in, you know, the entertainment business, and that's when uh, Commander USA came along, came along. He wanted to do the Uncle Willie character, but they says no, they want him to be a superhero. So that's how Commander USA was born. That's right. And, uh, of course, you remember, I tried to do it with my cigarette, but I couldn't do it. And <laughs> I was going to give myself a lefty, which was his hand, his good friend, his hand, and that he would take his cigar, uh, cigars and put a smiley face on there. But, uh, yeah. He also starred in a, on a Law and Order Special Victims Unit on that TV show, and he was also in a 2009 movie, The Hungry Ghosts. And uh, in 1988, there was a 32-page magazine called commander usa's world of horror that came out i wonder if anyone has it how much that's going for <laughs> they were supposed to do a whole series of issues of the magazine but that was the only one that ever came out in 1988 yes indeed so that's pretty much all i have on all i can find out about jim hendrix aka commander usa Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. He may even have showed shock waves. I didn't look for that one on the list, but <laughs> yes, we love our horror movie host. Yes, we do. I want to thank all of you who have been subscribing to the channel. What's that? You haven't? <laughs> Come on, man. Hit that subscribe button. He'd give this video a like. Hope you enjoyed it. And um, what else was I going to say? Yeah, we're going to focus more on uh, the horror movie theme. We will go into the extreme music 
occasionally, but uh, I know that people are more really going for the horror stuff. And uh, so that's what we're going to focus mainly on. So just want to thank everyone who has subscribed. And uh, hey, if you uh, hit that like button, as I said before, you can see my kitchen, a kitchen reveal in the next couple hundred videos of Fans of a Haunted Hill. <laughs> Until then, thanks for watching, everyone, and uh, have a great holiday. A zombie song? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, my aching head. I'm in love with a lady that day. She walks around with her eyes open wide, but she doesn't see me. I feel empty inside. Oh, zombie, yo, you drive me crazy when you're walking so slow. Your touch is cold, but to me it's just right. So be my zombie, baby, and bite me good night. We'll get engaged with circumstances and pomp. We'll buy a little grip with a view of the swamp. We'll have a kid, he looks just like you. His eyes will be black and his tongue will be blue. Oh, zombie, yo, you drive me crazy when you're walking so slow. Your touch is cold, but to me it's just right. So be my zombie, baby, and bite me good night. <laughs>